subject to us. This is Serpy. Now, today we're going to be talking about the real history of Iron Man, especially as it regards to laws and politics and everything. They don't teach you this in your favorite school. This is one of them videos that the response right, is likely going to be who do you think you are? I've made many of these videos over the years, met them, right, get all kind of messages from people who are, you know, the quote unquote scholars, academics, who do you think you are? Right, I've studied this, I've seen this and I've never heard that. Right, and then year or two down the road, right, them disappear and then they say, oh, I said, they go for real. So that's a heads up. I want you to be prepared. Maybe at the first time you are listening to on this channel, maybe you're not familiar with my often contentious videos. This will be one of them. We get a message from one of the senior members of the PIA. I said, why you never tell me, say you're a senator? They said, what are you talking about? It was an article in Nationwide and it was the president of the Senate saying that, you know, in can't believe, say, a system that is outdated, right, is still in effect in Iron Man today. The reason why right, the member of the PIA sent it to me, because this is somebody who were reasonable. Right? There's some people at the PIA and Patreon squad, right? some of them right, were reason for certain things. Right? And after the SOEs were shut down, right, they might ask me, say, how comes the MP then pass it, but then they get blocked? Who have more talk? So I was explaining to that individual how Jamaican politics work, you know, House of Representatives, the Senate, right? And I was saying to them, this is an outdated colonial system. So that's why I went to them see that nationwide a couple of days after our private conversation. Right? They must say, I must you, I said the same thing. So I'm check out the article and then after have a good laugh, it dawned upon me. This is somebody who is very knowledgeable on a lot of things concerning Iron Man. But even them never understand right, where some of them laws uh, and policies uh, are come from. So I figured if this person right, don't have a good understanding of the history, then the masses, right, the Irish masses won't either. Hence this video is dropping today. Let me start off with a bold statement. Iron Man is not a true democracy. I repeat it. Contrary to what you heard, Iron Man is not a true democracy. Matter of fact, even if you look it up, the people them who rate countries based on them systems or whatever consider Iron Man what is known as a quote unquote flawed democracy. So it's not a true democracy. May I tell you now why? May I give you now a major example of this today. You see, Jamaican scribes and Pharisees love to talk about the Constitution. The Constitution, the Constitution, as if it was originated by Jamaicans for Jamaicans. They get away with this because the masses are ignorant. Them just don't know. And as I say, it's not that they teach you this in a school. When I first started addressing Ironman's outdated laws and policies, many of these scribes would contact me. They always try and, I guess, put me in my place, so to speak. Well, we have to send some more messages today because I am back at it again. And in the process of trying to school me, where they normally fail is when you try and say, alright, apply it. You see, they are very good when it comes on to the theory of it. I mean, let's be honest here, so many of the big qualifications that them have, where them think give them the upper hand, is really all theory. True knowledge is tested in application. This caused many of them to struggle with basic logic, 
basic reasoning. It's one thing for read a textbook, remember what you see in the textbook and write it on the exam. But to actually bring it into the real world, well, that's a whole different story. Now, I would like to imagine everybody know that Iron Man right, is a former colony of the UK. The majority of our laws and customs that are in effect today right, were passed down from this British connection. You know, like you have French connection and right, the British connection. Many of those laws are so asinine that even the British themselves have turned their backs on them. Many are the same law them that were originally written by the British in the 1600s, the 1700s and the 1800s. Many of them law them. Right. Modern day Britain have crushed them up in them and, and threw them in the garbage bin. They love to tell you about the constitution as if it was originally written by people like Marcus Garvey or Louis Bennett. As if Jamaican's constitution right, was drafted by Jamaican's best and brightest minds of a generation. As if this constitution isn't just old recycled legislation passed down from the British. Ironman politics is shaped after what is known as the Westminster system. All they've done is change the names. For example, the British have the House of Commons and the House of Lords. The Commons is where the democratically elected sit, right, the MP them. The Lords is, well, the name kind of give it away. That's where you more find, you know, the, the elites, so to speak. Way back in the days, this would be the most, you know, pompous and blue-blooded, right, of British people. In Jamaica, they call the House of Lords equivalent, the Senate, and the Commons is known as the House of Representatives. But it is exactly the same setup as old days Britain. So House of Lords is the Senate, House of Commons is the House of Representatives. As you can see, the names are easier to digest. I guess people would be asking questions like, oh, what do they mean, House of Commons? What do we call Commons? So I guess, you know, and we'll look a bit of rebranding. But it's the same thing. It's like painting a zebra white and sticking on a cone on its head and calling it a unicorn. End of the day, underneath, that's a zebra. The Lords were not elected by the people. Let me repeat that. The Lords were not elected by the people. Therefore, them can carry out the will of the people. Just like the Senate in Jamaica. In Britain, right. the Lords used to have the power to block certain laws that were passed by the Commons. Right. So the big wigs them could block things that were passed by the MPs who were elected by the people. You see the problem there, sir? Do you see the problem there, sir? Don't worry, you soon see how this apply to modern day Ironman. In 1911, this would change. Before that, in 1909, an extraordinary bill known as the People's Budget right, was about to be passed. And after being approved by the MPs, guess who blocked it? The Lords. As you can imagine, being called the People's Budget, there were some things in it that went against the interest of the Lords. This bill was championed by David Lloyd George and a then young Winston Churchill. After getting the bill blocked by the Lords, this proved to be the final straw for many who had simply had enough of the British elite. You know, the blue blood type. This would trigger the introduction of the Parliament Act of 1911. This revolutionary act for its time reduced the powers for the House of Lords and prevented them from blocking certain bills, especially as it relates to the more financial type of bill. So when the MPs then pass something, 
the Parliamentary Act of 1911 prevented the Lords of them from blocking it. This would further be updated in 1949 and would reduce the powers of the Lords even further. So now when people see the House of Lords and the House of Commons on TV, right, and you hear the Lords them speak and all that, understand the majority of their powers have been snatched away from them by the House of Commons and by the people. The House of Lords was far more powerful back in the day. The Senate in Ireland is right, the House of Lords under smokescreen. Ireland still use the updated system where the Senate aka wannabe House of Lords can block things passed by the House of Representatives aka wannabe House of Commons. The outdated system, not the modern one. The one that the British revolted against, Ironman still have today. Many of these people take great pride in safeguarding the old ways of Ironman's former colonial master. They can't wait to brag about some law that was passed in 1825 as if it was our brainchild. Since Jamaica inherited right, all these things from the British. Why wouldn't we make them relevant to modern Jamaica? Even things like the JCF and the JDF, right? the basic construct was set up from the colonial times. So now, why not update and modernize the JCF and the JDF to reflect the country we live in now? The JCF and the JDF that existed then right, was acting on the best interests of the crown. But when you say, make this happen, make this happen, they say, oh, but remember the constitution? You mean those documents that were passed down? It's either we want a country that reflects our people and our ways and our customs or we want to hold on right, to something for even the British themselves, that's right. Ironman has 63 MPs who are elected by the people right, and 21 senators. Jamaica cannot be a democracy if those 21 senators who are no more elected than a YouTuber can stop the action of the people who are elected. What is the point of casting votes if 21 people who nobody casts a single vote for can block it? Jamaican democracy is a myth. If or when Jamaica becomes a republic, this system must go the way of the dinosaurs. 21 unelected people cannot be checks and balance in Ireland because the people did not pick them and cannot remove them. If people in our constituency want to see something done, they can elect an MP and that MP can carry out their will. That's not how it works with a senator. People do not select senators. Senators are selected by Prime Minister Umbre and the leader of the opposition, Mark Golding, or whoever occupy those titles. And to make things worse, the Senate is often used as some kind of Rehabilitation center, right? a parking spot, you know, a wellness bench for politicians who take black eyes in elections. You've seen over the years, enough man run for MP, lose, and then go park in the Senate. So you can't be an MP, but you can go to the Senate, go block something that was passed by actual MPs who win them seat. Iron man. No problem, man. So if you fail at being an MP, if you are liked by the party leader, then you can go play Lord. Sorry, I mean, Senator. The day will come when Iron Man will have some people right, who actually want to make a nation. Not just a jacket pitney of the British or the Americans or Chinese or anybody for that matter. That system is not democratic. That system is fundamentally flawed. The people who invented that system realized it was flawed and discarded it. The Westminster system, the House of Parliament, the House of Lords, aka the Senate, House of Commons, aka House of Representatives. It needs some shaking up. Anyway, Patreon Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. More life. Walter Squad, stay circling. Bless.